the way through, all the way through. 21, 22. Really good to be here. I've been really surprised um, with Lahore and the National High Performance Centre. Um, it's a really great initiative, um, and it's gonna, I think it's going to really feed the national team for many years to come if it's done really, really well. And we've got some really good consultants on board and, and some really good organisers um, that have put things in place for us. So I'm really looking forward to contributing and, and developing these young kids into really top quality professional athletes that uh, have really good high performance habits um, and can meet the demands of international cricket. So there's a difference um, with the young kids versus you know senior established players. Those are st senior established players have already a foundation of habits that have got them to where they are. Right now, these kids are around finding out what their routines are and what those high performance habits are that will set them up for success in the future. So for now, it's about developing that foundation of high performance habits. You know, what does their, their training loads uh, look like? What does their training habits look like? All the things that are around that people don't see behind um, outside of matches. There's two-pronged attack for, from my perspective, ensuring that these players are fit, fast and strong and able to handle you know, international cricket demands in three years' time, but also there's a coach education piece from my, from my end around educating the local coaches around different perspectives um, and, and enhancing their knowledge around sports science so they can too contribute um, to the domestic scene as well. Everyone and every individual is different. Um, but it's about understanding what is high performance and what is success for each player at an individual level and ensuring that there is a plan long term to that. Um, so a batter might be different to a pace bowler, uh, a six foot seven versus a, a five foot four, someone that's coming from a rural city versus a town um, and a, a you know, different sort of um, economical standpoint as well. So there are plans that can be put in place from an individual level. Um, I'm not a huge, while we are guided by numbers and certain be benchmarks along the pathway, it's about individually getting better at an individual level and in increments and in, in certain milestones over the next three years.